So, diet is then? No, I'll explain everything. Hmm. Well, get on with it then. <sighs> well, it was my dad. He was the leader of the Northern Star Pack. He was a strong dog. Part wolf, part Siberian husky. He led a strong pack of experienced wolves. They had a good territory, lots of food and shelter. They could hunt whenever they pleased and come back with lots of game. They never ran out and their share was equal. My dad sent out a patrol daily. Every day, every morning, and every night. Then one day a patrol came back and reported to Dakota that there was an unknown wolf in their territory. My dad was furious. He ran out of the territory to find and kill this unknown visitor. After a day of traveling, he had finally caught a scent. My dad followed the scent to find a beautiful timber wolf. She had a thick pelt with beautiful golden eyes. Her name was Cedar. Right when my dad laid his eyes on her, he fell in love. He took her back to the pack. The pack was furious with my father. The pack ordered her to leave. Dakota didn't let her leave. Cedar lived with the Northern Star Pack for two and a half weeks. My dad gave her everything she wanted. A warm place to sleep, food, and the love of the leader. Then one day, Cedar just disappeared. My dad looked everywhere for her. He couldn't find a scent or anything. She didn't leave any trace behind. My dad was heartbroken. The moment she went missing, he went to look for her. My dad left the camp and didn't return for a month. After almost three weeks of looking for Cedar, my dad came across a house dog. She was a lab with the name of Amber. My dad asked Amber if she had seen a wolf, a timber wolf. He had said no, but that she would help him look. He agreed to this, and the two went looking. After two weeks, they had returned back to camp with no sign of Cedar. During that period of time, Coda had deeply fell in love with Amber. She stayed at camp. And then, I was born. I was a different kind of dog. A mutt, as my pack would call me. I was a Siberian Husky, part wolf, part lab. My parents both agreed on the name Crater, as you all know. After weeks of peace, Cedar returned. Coda was amazed that Cedar was still alive. He had told him that she had went and got some prey for Coda for everything he had done. Coda was pleased, but at the same time confused. She had been missing for almost two months. Coda introduced Cedar to Amber, his wife. It was furious. Cedar leaped at Amber with rage. He hit her with the death blow. Coda screamed at Cedar. And evil broke out. And Coda had killed Cedar. Coda's two most beloved souls were both dead right in front of his paws. My dad was miserable for the past years. He did nothing. My dad really never liked me after the incident. He never acknowledged me or anything. Whenever I would try to talk to him, he would just brush me off. Then, my dad disappeared. He never came back. He left me to care for myself. Me in the pack. So, now you know. So, why do you hate me so much? Your stupid kind killed my mother. <sighs> well, that's not my problem. <sighs> you are the problem. <sighs> Crater, no! <sighs> Do 
you stupid timber wolf. Jasper, no! <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> you think you could just hurt dogs without any consequences? Oh, you're wrong. Do it feels. <laughs> Do you like that? This will be the last time you ever hurt another dog of our kind. Jasper, stop. Huh? There's no need for this. Yes, there is. <sighs> Jasper? Hey, I think you're good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks, Bailey. Oh, wait, Crater. I almost forgot. Want this? Thanks. <sighs> it's good to be back. Guys, come quick! Hmm? Coming! You guys won't believe this. There's more shadow dogs. <laughs>